Hello everyone and welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. Today takes us back to a very bustling Universal Orlando to check out the grand opening of the brand new Summer Tribute Store. It is getting hot here in Central Orlando and so are the shopping deals. Yeah, we can't wait to check out this new brand new store that's highlighting classic Universal movies. There's also a few other updates we want to share with you along the way. It's going to be lots of fun. Come along with us as we explore. Our first stop for the day has us here in front of Monsters Cafe to officially announce if permanently closed Monsters Cafe. Like, that's wild. This has been here for a long time. I know it's been a fan favorite. You have Halloween Horror Nights coming up, and it's not going to be here. But they haven't announced just quite yet what's going to fill this location, but fingers crossed, right? Now, if you did like the little, like, quick serve, freezy, slushy stand that's just out in front of Monsters Cafe, that will remain open. So you can still come here, get your slushy on, all is well. So if you're a Tonight Show fan and you come to the park, you always want to try to be on the lookout for hashtag panda. And I've always tried to get a photo of him. Every time I've taken this camera out, I mean, it just literally happened. Like sometimes he comes and he like pops his head out of these, uh, these windows right up here. Every time I take this camera out and I try to get him, the, the window closes, he turns around, walks away. I could never get a photo of this thing, let alone get him on camera. So. I'm hoping one of these days, one of these days, I might get hashtag banned. <laughs> but it's not today. All right, so we have arrived here at the Tribute Store, and as you can see, it's like going into the movies. We're stepping into some of the classic, universal films that we know and love most. Oh, and these are some of our favorites. Jaws! At home, we got a taxidermy man! He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I brought him! <laughs> right, E.T. Phone home, Carl. Phone, phone home. home. And then back to the future. 88 miles per hour! These are definitely some of our favorites. And you gotta love how they themed the exterior of this. You know that the inside's gonna be even better. So let's hop into the movies, we'll grab our ticket, and check this out. Seriously, look at these ticket prices. I mean, what a deal. Four bucks, early bird special. Ooh, well, we're definitely, well, we're, we're here for the matinee, so we're, we're definitely getting the 250 deal. But, you know, I see me having such a hard time getting my ticket here, I don't know. <laughs> oh, they left me some Reese's Pieces, though. Yeah. <laughs> After we've gotten our tickets, we first entered to see these movie posters, as you can see, now playing E.T. Got theaters one through four. Of course, they had to have some coming soon posters. You have 1941, who doesn't love that Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi classic. And then here's one, The Thing, starring Kurt Russell. So first up, we are heading into theater one to check out a very special bedroom that you may remember from E.T. The 80s are alive and well here in Elliot's bedroom, and I can't get over how well they have this theme. I mean, I really feel like I walked into the movie. The posters, the bed, the vinyl, the turntable, like the views out the window, like this is just incredible. Like it's it's an amazing job. And plus too, they have like a full size ET over there. Like this is just awesome. I, if you're an ET fan, how can you not love this? E.T. overload and I love it. They have E.T. in definitely every form and fashion in here. He's in the bathrobe. He's holding a heart. He's in his hoodie. They have everything. But this is like the most cute one I've seen so far. It's E.T. in a little basket. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. <laughs> it even has little hoops. So you could like hook them on to your own bicycle. And you can just fly through your neighborhood. How cute is this? Speaking spell from the movie. How fun is this? I don't actually know if it works. 
Hello, where are you from? So this is really cute. I mean, like from far away, it just looks like a little ET figurine. But if you look up really close, look how they've aged the product around like the edges and things to make it look like a toy collectible from like 80s. That's such a cool little touch. So retro. All right, who else remembers like the McDonald's Disney glasses from back in the 90s? Like, check this out. So they did like almost something similar here for the ET 40th anniversary. Got ET on the glass, got all the main characters. I really like this. Are they, I wish they had like a series of these. I wonder if there's gonna be like another one for Jaws and then like another one for Back to the Future. If, if so, we might have to be buying some of these. <laughs> there's definitely plenty of t-shirts to choose from in this section. But I really love this one because it almost reminds you of like Drew Barrymore's character and like the shirts that she would wear throughout the movie. This is a cute. And of course, they have an assortment of the classic E.T. film franchise and ride inspired shirts and keychains, posters. Kind of like this long sleeve. This is a really pretty pattern. And then of course, the, down here, they got the T-shirt with like the stars in the background. Just so cool. Oh, we're off to a fun start here. I'm really, really loving this store so far. Remember this epic scene? He's hiding with the plushy animals. <gasps> It's a little figurine that you can buy for $95. This is pretty cool. All right, so I've really been getting into these lounge flies. Like, I kind of like just looking at the designs and what they've been able to come up with. I think I found my most favorite lounge fly yet. You ready? E.T. in the basket with the hoodie on. Look at this. This is not the cutest one yet. And they actually have the matching wallet that goes with this. And then check this out on the back. It even says, E.T. phone home. <laughs> this is $82. And I'm just going to say it. If you're a lounge fly person, you absolutely need to get this one. This is pretty awesome. Walking through here, even though you're, you feel like you're on these movie sets or you're in Elliot's room, you just can't help but smell popcorn. So they've like kind of piped this popcorn scent into the different areas here. And like, I have to say like, it's makes me want popcorn. <laughs> Swimming on over into theater two, which is Jaws. Oh my goodness, there's so much cute details, just like there were in E.T. I can't wait to show them all to you. So let's dive on in. All right, stepping into the Jaws area, all I can say is there's a different smell here. It smells more like the sea. So they, they're, they're adding a little bit of scent to all of this, which I'm really loving. But me personally, I really love Jaws. This is, this is pretty incredible. I mean, the detail in here too is just, man, let, let, you gotta see this. One of the first things I'm seeing in the whole Jaws area is Quint's fishing chair. So you have the uh, Narragansett beer up there, the huge reel, you have Quint's jacket. This is pretty awesome. I, I, I'm just speechless, I love this. This is incredible. They do have a glass. This is the old ride cup. Ah, the great white is back and you're in the water with them. They even have like the description. How fun is that? I love how part of the set includes one of the barrels that they actually got Jaws with. Can't have a Jaws set without a Jaws barrel. Look at that. Can you smell what Quincy's cooking? <laughs> I, I just, again, I cannot get over how well they theme this. I mean, I feel like I'm at the marina. We're doing a crab boil. The smells in here are just awesome. What an awesome photo opportunity. I, I just, like, this is really, they did a fantastic job. If you're, if you're a Jaws ET fan so far, unbelievable. So here's kind of an interesting find. For $25, if you are very much a Jaws fan, they have the blueprint for Jaws. How cool is this? 
at City Hands, Mr. Hooper. And they also have a lounge fly for Jaws, and it is adorable. I love this theming. Like, look at the shark. It looks like the poster of the movie, but they also put some cute details. Like, the zipper is a little buoy with a shark bite out of it. And then on the back, they added another detailed touch to no swimming hazardous area. Here's another fun touch I just found. They actually have the shotgun, the harpoon, and then the rifle that was used in the movie here as part of the staging. And you have Quint's hat up there. Okay, maybe you're not into lounge flies, but they made another bag. Look at this cool thing. It's like the little thing is a shark eye, and the zipper is the mouth. And then you have like little card pouches, but it's the gills. <laughs> this is such a cute idea. I love it. I love it. And of course, they have some classic Jaws merch here. We have some t-shirts, some tank tops, even a white version. They even have underwear. So if you're really jonesing for some Jaws undies, they got you covered. So over the years, I've really gotten into these, uh, these old lunch boxes, and I think they did a really nice job with this Jaws one. The side, it has uh, the no swimming hazardous area, beach closed, and the other side, the famous movie poster. Gotta love it. So I think I found the best Jaws shirt in this whole shop. You ready? You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> They have a Jaws mold of rock. This is awesome. I think they've actually gone up though. I noticed it's eight bucks, but like, check this little guy out. How cool is that? It even says Jaws. This is one of the nicest ones. This might be my, my best one I have yet. This is this is incredible. It's really hot. <laughs> all right, leaving theater two and going to theater three, you are in a hallway of all kinds of different coming soon movies. And oh, I love a lot of these. So it's really cool that it's also themed with some great 80s-tastic music. Let's check them out. walking through this hallway and checking out these movie posters. We've been pretty nostalgic recently. We've watched a lot of the films they have posters for. So Weird Science, Flash Gordon, American Graffiti. Rock and roll has been going downhill ever since Buddy Holly died. Breakfast Club. These are all fantastic movies. I mean, it really would be cool if they brought merchandise for these films into these shops. I think they should kind of continue this. These are just like fantastic movies. How could you not love them? Time certainly is ticking here in the Back to the Future section of the Tribute Store, and I just cannot get over how awesomely themed this section is. I mean, you really feel like you're in Doc Brown's garage. You have the clocks ticking behind us. You have full set models out here. You have iconic props. Like, we just have to explore this. Let's go check it out. Displayed inside this grandfather's clock. Check out these props. We have the Sports Almanac. We have Marty's letter to Doc Brown. We have George McFly's book, A Match Made in Space. Hello? Hello, anybody home? Oh. Uh, think, McFly, right. think. There's so many cool little props from the film in here. Biz Paradise, Pleasure Paradise Hotel and Casino Room Key. This is just awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, do you remember the toys as a kid? Like the Velcro boxes, you had to open them up. Look how cool he is. Marty McFly himself. And he's like interchangeable head with a hoverboard. It's a cool little touch. Okay, so I was cracking up. On the back of the box, it also had other characters in the movie. Look at this one. Can you already guess who it's going to be? Biff. <laughs> This is kind of hilarious. I like the faces too. Yeah. Which bit do you want? Which... So of course they have a Moldorama machine here for Back to the Future. I was hoping for DeLorean, but they had the clock tower. It's $8 just like Jaws, but unfortunately it broke down. There's one stuck right there in the machine. 
machine must have got struck by lightning. We'll have to come back and do this one. So just notice I'm sitting up on top of these shelves here are the Panthers from the Hill Valley Clock Tower. Just checking out the Pitbull hoverboard. Of course, this is the model that Biff used to chase Marty McFly around the town. So excuse the crudity of my model, and of course, it's not to scale. But how cool is this? They actually have the model from the film that Doc Brown puts together to show Marty how the DeLorean's gonna go through the town center, get struck by lightning, clock tower, whole thing. And these are some very cool and very high-end items available here in the trivia shop. You have a Michael J. Fox signed cherry red guitar, and of course, the Back to the Future 2 cast signed hoverboard for 3200 this gift shop and it is themed as the theater lobby and you know in the theater lobby there's all kinds of delicious and delectable treats so we're definitely going to try out one of those they also have more merch from different movies as well as universal studios and a really fun photo prop this is a really fun prop like go ahead and push the fingers there they're like movable and like a real hand they're, they're like foam oh that's, that's so cool Stay puffed marshmallow made action figure. How cool is that? Yes. <laughs> That's so neat. The dude abides. Yes, he does. <laughs> so we are finding some merch from those films in the hallway. Found this Breakfast Club t-shirt. Gotta love it. Iconic scene. <laughs> We've made it to Hill Valley Town Square here, and of course we're gonna try out one of their delectable treats. This was actually just found in the gift shop in there. But look how cute that is themed all the time. I love it. So it's a chocolate brownie, it looks like chocolate icing, and then a very beautiful themed chocolate plate. Let's try it out, let's see how it is. I'm gonna move that to the side. Uh, it's a little thick. <laughs> A little hard. Oh, oh my gosh, like that is just pure thick chocolateness. It is definitely chocolatey, so if you love chocolate, this will be up your alley. It's almost like it does have a brownie flavoring, but it almost has the texture of fudge, if that makes sense. It's very thick. I would give this, I mean, I like chocolate. I think like two bites is good. Definitely shareable. I would give it a uh, two and a half out of five. All right, trying out the brownie. This is very, 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 very fudgy. It's a fudgy, dark chocolate brownie. I think if you're, if you're a brownie fan, you'll absolutely love this. I think this is very tasty. I will give this a three out of five. Gotta love the Back to the Future theming of this. This is pretty good. It's sweet. It is on the sweet side, but I'll go back, go back for a second bite. Three out of five. Another new addition just in time for summer is the Welcome Back Summer Food Stand located just in front of Central Park and Mel's Diner. They have a Cuban sandwich, they have some special drinks. I think this is gonna be a nice addition to stop by anytime during your summer holiday here at Universal. Well, everyone, I think that does it from a fun day here at Universal Orlando. Yes, I really enjoyed that tribute store and the movies and the theming that they chose. The props, they were a nice touch, as well as all the fun and cool merchandise that you guys can come and explore. Yeah, and you just gotta love the 80s. Like, <laughs> all those movies are just classics. I think it was fantastic, definitely agree. I even like trying out the brownie. There's a lot of updates coming, lots of stuff happening here at Universal, more to come. If you guys liked the video, hit like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, friends, Bye. Bye.